Rob seen you play live? No. I don't want to. There's just certain things I wouldn't say around my mother, you know. Just out of respect. <laughs> What are you expecting? You want to know what's so crazy? I don't really have any expectations. Mm. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Oh. Safari, so, get the grill with the yellow shirt. Hello, babe. Hi, babe. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you want to take a picture? Okay. Tomorrow's your birthday. Yeah. How old are you? 16. Happy birthday. When you're young, it's easy to feel trapped. It's easy to feel like you're not understood. That's why we always say, you don't understand. And I'm like, I understand. That's why, that's why I'm here. Give us a blessed show and performance. And let us not have any regrets after tonight. without struggle. Awesome. Um, put, put exercise room, what, no, put gym on here. Whoa! What? My album is on Amazon.com, Amazon.com, ha 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 Oh, very nice. Holy! <laughs> Okay. Need that. okay, so. All right, I'm about to tweet the link. And so, what's your favorite thing about the Twittering? That my fans feel close to me. See, they're already tweeting it. Already? Mm -hmm. Wait, how long ago did you post that? No, like one, two, two seconds ago. I'm number four on Amazon. Number four? Yes. You were just 508. And then I was 11. And oh, now 11. I'm number. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so how did that happen? I guess people really went and bought it. So you hit number four on Amazon six weeks before your album comes out. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> I think the collective wisdom about Nicki Minaj is that she's a star. She's certainly the most interesting, relevant female rapper in the last 10, 15 years. The mortality rate for female MCs is really, really high. We don't have one female MC who's retired rapping the way, say, Jay-Z can retire rapping. But on some of her mixtapes, she's rapping like the best of the boys. When Kanye West Monster came out, 
people sort of unanimously decided that she had the best verse on a song that featured Jay-Z and Rick Ross and this person who people barely know annihilated everybody. A lot of people know what she looks like. A lot of people know she has a lot of Twitter fans. People know that she likes to sign girls' boobs. She's one of those few artists that knows what she wants and she will get what she wants. No question about it. I want it to look fly. Gotta look right. You know what I mean? She's kind of come to her fame in a curious way by being on other people's songs and by being sort of ubiquitous, but only in a flash. I think people think that she can't make an album. And if the product ends up not becoming what we all hope it will, she could go away. You can't have buzz this big and have so much media attention and so many captive fans just waiting for your first album and have it suck. I think she needs to show people who she really is, bear her soul up just a little bit, just a little bit. this or nothing. I've been told forever that you're not gonna sell. No one's gonna get you. Don't sound too smart. You can only be a part of a crew. And I just know that there are so many women that get told these things every day. I used to think that this was all about me. But I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for them. When you start affecting lives, you have more of a responsibility. You know, you're no longer doing it for you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Or if you're still doing it for you, you're just a selfish person. Thank you, Mama. You too. <laughs> I look like a true lunatic right there. From the bottom of my heart, I wanted to thank each and every single solitary one of you. This day is one of the best days of my life so far since I've been doing music because I actually feel comfortable with my team and I'm proud of myself, but I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> Thank you, girls. You guys, brush your time and time again. And sometimes I don't realize. We're here. I'm here. We love our black Barbie. <laughs> Everybody comes up to me after we do things and say, good job, and you did it, and you did it, but we did it. We did it. We did a good job today. And I realize the sacrifices that you guys made. And I love you because you're my family. So when I yell and when I scream, it's not that I don't like you, it's that I'm nervous. I don't want to fail. I have so many blessings, but the biggest blessing that I have right now in my life is my team. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thank you. A while back, you and me were in a car driving the VMAs, and you said that if most people experienced this life that you lived, that they would trade it. Would you trade it? 